What's going on guys and welcome back to the extreme Teddy Long Smackdown My GM series. We're on attempt two and so far so good after five weeks, no failed uh, commissioner goals. So that is good. And uh, we're only 40,000 fans behind first place, which actually after five weeks does seem like a lot, but at the same time, I think we're still in it. We got some good rivalries going forward. I think we're gonna be okay. Before we jump into this episode, I just wanna say thank you again to everyone who's taken the time to like these videos, subscribe to the channel. We've hit 2000 subscribers. So that is a really, really cool mark for me guys i really appreciate it thank you guys so much uh and without any further ado let's jump into this episode so here's where we left off we're at show uh, we're at week six and uh, like i said 40,000 fans off the pace of nxt black and gold who had a really good uh week five ple so they have taken the lead um we made some big trades we have a good budget of three hundred and ten thousand uh, dollars, which is good we do need to sign some women though we had a lot of, I think we traded three people, maybe even four people away. And uh, most of them were on the, the women's side. So we have, uh, we only have four women on the roster and we need to get two heels. Uh, one would do well as a heel cruiser to go against Precious Silver and then they make that a tag feud uh, for the women's champion, tag team championships. And basically any heel for Gigi Dolan, she is a specialist. So that should be okay. We have the Undertaker who is the men's universal champion at 87 popularity and 99 stamina so that's uh, that's pretty awesome and gg dolan at 60 stamina the power or not the power card sorry but the shake-up card um that we had played at the end of last episode was your men and women's champions are guaranteed to win for the next five weeks was it the best one available that's debatable but it's definitely the first time i've ever seen it so i thought that was kind of cool and that's what we applied uh to to, to the next five uh, weeks of shows. So what we'll do first is go to the talent scout and we'll search a few of the local talents here. I already see Daniel Walls to heal cruiser, so that is good. Um, let's just search a few. There's Chosen back again. Uh, he had something going on with The Undertaker in our first attempt. Maybe we'll look to sign him. Uh, Cora Cut was there as well, very nice. Uh, Bobby Mardi, Ali, Ali Brawler's back, okay. Uh, maybe we might do Ali Brawler to go against Gigi Dolan, we'll see. Um, we have ooh, a couple more, right? I'll just do it quickly and then go through. Okay. So Tavish is back. Okay. There's Ali Brawler. Can we search by role, right? Yeah. So let's search by role. We want to see cruisers. Where are you cruisers at? We got one, just the one, okay. One female cruiser, uh, which is Danielle Wall. So that's, I'm going to get to have that role, uh, match up with. Uh, Precious Silver, who's at like a 50 popularity right now, which is kind of kind of sweet. So we'll sign her to the, we'll sign Danielle Walls to the end of the season for only 17 grand, so that's good. And then do we want to have Cinnamon Garrett go up against uh, go up against Gigi Dolan for that main championship? I think we she got good stamina, popularity 31. She seems to be a, a fan favorite of uh of this channel so we'll do that again and for thirty-two thousand dollars, not too bad uh good so there we go we needed to add more women to the roster and we did maybe i'll come back for two more we will see i don't think we need them at the moment though um logistics we could get we could get either one of the local signage or road crew but i'm thinking i'm just gonna wait maybe till next week or the week after see how much money we have uh to get the level uh, tier three um uh, arena because it goes from capacity 2000 ticket prices four bucks which is eight thousand dollars to capacity five thousand five bucks each that's twenty five thousand dollars so that is a big bump um so i think i'm gonna do that if not next week maybe the week after we'll we'll see let's check out the commissioner goal do not put Sami Zayn in a match so i think think that's pretty doable we're gonna have the undertaker be in a match for sure though uh, i think jordan oliver is the guy we're gonna have this time around i said we we're gonna sign chosen and then just didn't so we'll see we might have uh i have that one there we have we have some ongoing rivalries actually so let's check those out so Sami Zayn and gunther gunther wanted two weeks off i'm hoping that his um his popularity doesn't take a dip in those two weeks because he's marked as busy so 
hopefully that stays there and he just gains some stamina because he is at level or he is at uh 25 stamina so two weeks off might do him some good we got the tag team feud at level two uh rangvald and orikawa at three so that is one we can uh we can use as well so let's go and it got not a bad match rating honestly last time it got uh, two and a half star and it was that was just a singles match so for two local talents to be doing that i'm happy i'm happy there do any of them have a no they don't have a match specialty but maybe we could maybe we could do uh, we'll do extreme rules maybe that can be the opener we'll see what we have we'll leave that there for now because we also have the we'll do the tag team title feud for the women which is now going to be uh Zia Lee and uh danielle wallace okay yeah heal here Ooh, precious silver stamina not good okay so that uh we're gonna have to take a week off i didn't notice that okay so gg dolan versus cinnamon garrett we can get that going maybe not do that in a title match just to make sure that outperforms we'll see what the other match on this card is going to be we also got giovanni vinci to uh get two-thirds of imperium on this show maybe we'll look to get Ludwig kaiser uh in this episode and we did sign jackson smooth and jive owens could we get oh, we guess we need one more heal uh it's a fighter specialist we have a specialist in giovanni vinci at the moment Uh, okay, so let's. I'm gonna finish this card because we could do the uh, men's tag team feud that we have ongoing right now. So, this we actually. Stamina is kind of low there between uh, for Granero and Mr. Higglesby. Slade's looking good. Um, we'll make this a tables title match. So, that should be a, get a pretty good rank, a good rating from The Undertaker. And we'll do this, and I don't think this needs to be an Extreme Rules now anymore. So maybe just to save money, we'll make that a normal match. And just see how this, how that goes. So then over here, we'll do a tag team callout from Zia Lee and Danielle Wallace to our champions. And then, so Sami Zayn is said not to book him in a match. So we can, we can book him to either call out Gunther or what are, we'll check uh, we'll check what are the season challenges we've completed three already which is good um, book 10 tag team matches we'll get that for sure 25 matches with three stars or more we'll get that for sure self promos uh, perfect drama curve five for five so far which is good book 10 shows with a call out promo it's weird that's only, that's only two of ten book 10 shows with trains you know I'll get one of those in uh, for sure I just I already forgot <laughs> it was what was it sorry it was self promo and training so we'll do a self promo for Sammy and we can do a training promo for let's do a training promo for Giovanni Vinci so there's the card I like that um, I think this should do pretty well if that's not a three-star match I'd be disappointed for sure uh, let's go and check power cards. We're not, oh, we are playing, we are using Sammy, so that is tough. But we're not using Precious Silver. So I guess I'll go ahead and use that on her, because she wanted to be ready for next week, and I want to get that going. So we'll use the Health Spa 3 big card. Do I have anything less? Do I have a, I could buy the Health Spa 1. But I, no, I'll just, I'm going to play this one on Precious Silver. So that's our one power card for the week. Brian Armstrong, I know that the, the one power card for the week is bothering you still, but uh, we're trying to make this as hard as possible, so we're going to just keep it like that for now. Let me, know, let me know down in the comments if you want that change. I know Brian does, that's for sure, but uh, he's the only one that's mentioned changing it so far. So we'll, uh, we'll leave it like that for now. Talent Scout, was there a heel bruiser? Any bruisers? Just the one, and it's Vicky McCloud. Wait, I'm not. I'm searching the wrong thing. Hold on. Uh, that's better. Now let's check again. Face bruising in Gunther McGurder. We're not gonna get two Gunthers on this show. Um, so I guess we'll look for next week for for um, for a heel bruiser. 
yeah, so I think we're good to go for week one. That is good. Even though it's all normal, normal, normal tables, I think this is pretty good. Um, that should not outperform this, so I will put the title on the line just to give that a little boost. This looks like a pretty good show. Grand Harrow's there, got the 10 in-ring XP. I think that, oh, that doesn't play a factor of the match rating. Level two rivalry, but then this level three, but that has titles on the line. I think we're good. I think this drama curve should work. And the show's only costing 16 grand. So that's looking good going forward for our, um, getting the, the arena for either next week or the week after latest. So we'll confirm booking. This is good to go. Sami Zayn was not in a match. I did not make sure that Triple H was happy. <laughs> if if I got that wrong, we have we have the we have what the new punishment is going forward. Um, it's no buying power cards or using power cards for two weeks if I fail a, a, a commissioner goal. So, but I don't think I did. I should be getting a, a power card at the end of this week. Anyways, I'm having flashbacks now from episode episode two. Alba Fire and Tiffany Stratton taking on Bianca Belair and Indy Hartwell in the opener, and Ludwig Kaiser. And uh, is that Cash Suplex? The NXT Tag Team Champions in the main event. Over on Raw, it's Dijak, Tommaso Ciampa, and Clay Biss. Let's go! Big, uh, big hero from, uh, from the Future Stars in my GM challenge. I didn't even see him there. Maybe, maybe we'll try to uh, we'll try to get Clay Biss over uh, during uh, the next trade window. That's that's Raw's show, and over on ECW, it's Piper Niven Kita and uh, Kitana Chance in the opener, and World Champion Sheamus puts a title on the line against Jinder Mahal. Okay, Clay Biss, let's go. Over on SmackDown, we got Slade and Red Monsoon putting their titles on the line against Grand Harrow and Mr. Higglesby. Slade and Red Monsoon pick up the win. Oh, that's not good. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, I'm a little shocked that that's only two stars. That was doing better. I guess the, the performance must have been bad. That's not good. Uh, weak promo from Zaylee and Danielle Wallace. This did better already, and it's level three rivalry. So we'll see what happens. Rangvald picks up the win. That's gonna hurt. Okay. No, uh, not the start we wanted here. Uh, okay, poppy or okay promo from Sami Zayn gets some one popularity. Gigi Dolan. So this is just gonna. Oh, am I not allowed to spectate this also, though? So Gigi Dolan wins. That was interesting, because it's just a normal match. Why couldn't I spectate? Good promo from G, uh, Giovanni Vinci. We'll see that again. Okay, so I can't speculate, uh, speculate, spectate any uh, matches for the main titles this string of shows. Good to know. So Undertaker's going to win this. It's basically like fixed matches play for these guys for the next five weeks in a great match. No rivalry, though, which is tough. And we are going to get the poor opening. Why is that? Performance was good. I guess just the popularity is not as good as Rangveld and Orikawa. Is that what it was? That's actually the difference. So, and then the rivalry as well. Huh, okay. But then you get f title match only three and a half stars. Oh, it's for the main titles. It's five. I gotcha. Okay. So that is unfortunate, but, uh, was and no rivalry started in either of those. Okay, so this is not the first we not the start we wanted. Uh, this tag team feud is gonna have to chill next week because Grin Harrow and Higglesby are both under 40. Uh, this can go again for next week, which is good. So I've guaranteed myself a two and a half start match for next week, which is good. And no rivalry started there, so that is tough when it comes to rivalry. There's no growth there either. That was already at level three, so just the one in the tag team feud. Uh, okay. Hopefully this doesn't hurt us too much. Because the rest of the, the rest of the show was pretty much on par. Okay, NXT show, uh, show card quality. Sorry, show quality team match card quality B for 51,000 fans. Okay. Raw quality D match card quality C for 47,000. That seems high. Oh, they cut a charity. Okay. Um, and uh, ECW... 38,000. I'm really scared to see what ours is going to be because of that blunder at the opening. Um, still 38, though. That's that's not as bad as what I was thinking was what I think was coming. Hey, ECW bought C from SmackDown. Oh, yeah, Alcatraz, right. Uh, I liked uh, SmackDown. Keep it coming. 
Not sure if Daniel Walsh is ready for the big time. That's tough. Uh, oh man, when Giovanni Vinci walked into the ring, I got so excited. <laughs> Way to go. Is that Body Slam Messiah 98? Or is that uh, Pennywise? We'll have to, we'll have to see. Jordan Oliver, that's what happens when you go one-on-one -on -one with The Undertaker. Rangvald getting even with Orikawa tonight. SmackDown has the best rivalries. Thank you. And I wish I could be a fly on the wall backstage to see Grand Hero and Higglesby and Slade and... Well, I see Grand Hero and... They must completely hate each other. I feel like that's weird and weird. That's worded weirdly. But we made $54,000, which is good. Okay. Okay, we got our veto champ. I don't think... Just to be sure now, I'm almost 100% sure it said don't put Sami Zayn in a match. But we'll, I, I, there's a way we can check this, and we'll check it in just one sec. Uh, Jinder Mahal, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see what Triple H has got saying. Work. Okay, so this is the... I feel like we just had this. Maybe that was an attempt one. Anyways, I uh, can't pass up free. I need Jordan Oliver again. Or the Undertaker stamina was ridiculously high. Let me give this to Oliver. Use Undertaker in a promo. Yeah, I think we can do that. Because it's just one week, right? We'll train one of those two guys free. Um, most of their stamina. They have to sit up at one show. Okay, I'll train Oliver. Ginger Mahal, how much are you gonna, what's the discount? 129K. There's the heel bruiser that we needed. Um, I'm gonna say yes, because then this, could, this might be trade bait. We can trade him back to ECW if anything. And he says starting next week, so hopefully he's not used in a match, which is highly unlikely. But uh, I'm going to say, okay, we have the money. We can't afford our, our Arena 2 anymore, but... Uh, okay, you just want to win whatever your next match is. Okay. Uh, holy smokes. Okay, well, the good news is there's only three season challenges completed. So that power card had to have come from Triple H, his commissioner goal. So we're, we're good. We're safe. No restart needed. <laughs> Even though that's not the penalty anymore, but that's fine. Jordan Oliver wants to win his next match. We have to interfere on Zaya Lee's behalf. I forgot about that. Um, okay, maybe I shouldn't have rested Jordan Oliver. Now that's not going to advance. Okay. Huh. Okay, so tag team title match we can still do this no we can't right i'm just making things up the women's title match we can do uh Zia Lee and danielle wallace titles on the line now so that is something we can do uh, the rivalry wasn't started though which is devastating sammy Zayn is back and available to go it is the your primary solo champion that means sammy Zayn could do stuff though right like he's allowed let's just do this for example yeah, Sami Zayn's allowed to be in the show, which is good. Um, Gunther's still away. Are you losing popularity, though, Gunther? Let me check over in the manager roster. He's not losing popularity, which is huge. So that's good. So he's going to come back at 49 stamina, which is... We like that. And still 70 popularity, which is good. Okay. That's good. We like that. Um... Okay, tag team need to chill. Rangvald and Orikawa can go again. Uh, okay. Okay, let's... Uh, we can do this. No, nope, because Gigi Dolan cannot be on the show. Yeah, let's just do this. That's one of them. Where is something else we had... Um, Sami Zayn's stamina is still bad, but what we could do for the week after is Sami Zayn calling out Gunther. And then they'll both be around 50 stamina to do one match week off PLE, which is good. Um, this is going to be a low show, but let's focus on getting, uh, on getting the match rating in proper order this time. This is so brutal. 
that uh, I can't use these two. Oh boy. Tag team match. Yeah, can't do that. Both of them are low. I guess we can do... Angleby, why are you upset? Let's do... I, I, hold on. We can do a non-title match between the champions. Red Monsoon should be okay here. They get Jackson Smooth and Jive Owens. That's a team we want going, uh, going forward. We won't put the titles online just in case they ruin the... I don't want that to, to ruin the title plans there. We're going to switch this around. This might be the main event, actually. Um, because in this slot, we can have a tag team call-out promo from Higglesby and Gren Harrow. They'll both be over 40 for the next week. Um, yeah, I... Is that what we want? Hold on, we'll see. I, I still need one more match, which needs to be... Uh, we can't even do anything that gave Jordan Oliver the week off. He has good stamina, though. We'll like to see that. Um, man. <laughs> Triple H. You're killing me, buddy. You're killing me. Um, I guess we're gonna have to dip into the free agency and see, uh, let's sign somebody for one week, maybe? Just, is there a face there? Jerry Sweat for one week. Jerry Sweat for one week, just to be in a match over here with, whoops, Giovanni Vinci. Hopefully you pick up the win, Vinci. Okay, so this got us two and a half stars in a normal match. This is level three. They don't need to be on the next week or the week after, I don't think, with how everyone's stamina is being in Triple H's ridiculous request this week. So if we do this as stream rules, that should be at least a three-star close, you'd think, right? So we'll do that. And over here, stamina is looking okay between everybody. And there's a match specialty for Xia Lee over here. So we'll try that. That should be pretty good. And who is left? We got Cinnamon Garrett. She can try to call out the champion start a rivalry there. And we and then these two, I want to give them both the week off to rest. Um, yeah, okay, and I gotta interfere for Xia Li. <laughs> when is that? That is either this week or next week. Do I just get that out of the way now? I don't think I can because this, yeah, only in normal matches. Okay, so we'll just leave it like that for now. Um, yeah. Yeah, so again, at least it's a cheap show. We're getting Jinder Mahal next week. It's a pretty big signing. His popularity was mid-60s, 67, I think. So that's pretty good. Um, yes, yes. I'm okay with this. We can play a power card, actually. Uh, do we want to play something? We just want to play Vito Champ on somebody just to... Jinder Mahal... Oh, I should have played that last week, but I wouldn't have known. Uh, so maybe I'll just play a get schooled. Should we just do that? Play a get schooled for who could this help out? Is anybody on the cusp of getting to level five? I think this would, this would move Slade to level five, I think. So we'll play this. Gains 30 in, oh, that will definitely take him to level five. This will move anybody from level one to level five. So we'll do that. Slade's happy, right? Yeah, so that's good. Let's play this on Slade. He's now level 8. Okay, so that's good. He's going to have a perk to unlock. Hopefully it's table. Nice. Okay, good. Unlock that for Slade, and then that's good. We don't need to play that this time around. We don't want it to be better than this. Okay, an unbooked promo, promo slot is not what I'm... Not what I'm all about, <laughs> but uh, we kind of have to do that in this case. So we'll confirm the show. Undertaker and Gigi Dolan not on the not on the card. So Triple H is happy. Precious Silver, Ivy Nile retain their championships in an okay two and a half star match. I I'm all right with that, even though it was tables a tables match. It's level one rivalry or level zero rivalry at the time, so it created something. It's good. This goes to level three. I like that. 
just don't be more than two and a half stars. And Giovanni picks up the win, which is good. Disappointing one and a half star match. Rivalry star, but that's going to go out the window. No rivalry started by Cinnamon Garrett towards Gigi Dolan. Slade at Red Monsoon versus Jai Owens and Jackson Smooth. The tag team champions pick up the win in a dull one star match. And this, I'm hoping, gets me at least three stars. Would love three and a half stars. It is three and a half stars and a gross level four rivalry. So Rangbull and Orikawa are actually doing some work for us uh, in this, <laughs> with this little rivalry they have ongoing. Over on ECW, it's Chelsea Green versus Becky Lynch in the opener, and it is uh, Piper Niven versus Katana Chance in the main. Over on Raw, uh, I didn't, was Jinder on the show? I don't think he was. I'd be very happy if he wasn't actually. Uh, Carrie Rush and Odyssey Riff in uh, mid card. There's Joey Wheeler, the, the the local talents here dominating Raw. This might not be a great show for them. <laughs> we'll see. Over on NXT is Tegan Knox and Rhea Ripley, and then it is the Women's Tag Team Championships on the line in the main event. And Cash Suplex on the show again. So we'll see here. Uh, NXT Black and Gold probably the best show this week. Uh, and if it wasn't them, it was ECW. So, uh, okay, this is level four. Nothing started there, which is good. One, one level one rivalry there, and level three. Where is the ECW card? Jinder not on the show, so that actually does help. So he will. He was at at thirty two stamina. That should bring him to forty four now, which is really good for us. That's that we caught a nice little break there. But again, match card quality C, which is not great for 31,000 fans. So having The Undertaker and Gigi Dolan off the show definitely helps, or definitely hurts, sorry. Um, only made $36,000, which is not great also. Uh, not sure if Jerry Sweat is ready for the big time. Don't worry, don't worry, he's gone. Uh, Cinnamon trying to lay it down the law to Gigi Dolan in that promo, but it kind of sucked, that hurts. Ivy and Precious defended their belt successfully. Is there any notes that someone was working well together? I forgot to check the uh, tag team chemistry on that. Um, uh, always great to see Zai in a tables match. Keep him coming. Uh, you gave it a good shot. Smooth, but your good isn't on my level, says Slade. Okay, so I think we're going to be falling back here. Ivar and, and Alcee Traz are an incredible tag team. That's uh, fortunate for them. 47000 and made $51,000. Big week for ECW. Over on Raw. 40,000 fans, so not too, too big of a, of an increase there. Uh, and NXT Black and Gold, these are the guys leading the way with 48,000, so they definitely had a big jump on us. This is going to be a sizable gap lead now from 1 to 4. There's our veto star from Triple H, so we'll see. Yeah, 70,000 70, fan difference between SmackDown and NXT Black and Gold. So we have some work to do for sure. But hopefully we have a whole bunch of people now available. Uh, Sammy, what are you asking for here, buddy? Uh, hi, Long. Great to be joining you on SmackDown. I'm raring to go looking for, for, for my first match. Thanks, Jinder. Sammy, it's been going great. I think we had to show a bigger venue. Uh, I don't mean to tell you what to do, but I think it will help showcase our talent roster, and that includes me. Uh, sure, Sammy, no problem. I hope I don't have to do this right away. Okay, so small increase is Zane's morale, who's still now only content. When do I have to do this by? I have two weeks. Uh, okay. Rest your female tag team champions. That's more doable. Uh, okay, okay. Let me just see, okay, what were you, what is this here, Sammy? You're saying level three within the next two weeks. How cheap could this show be? So I, I, it'd benefit to have more of a, uh, more weeks with the, the arena. So let's just see, Undertaker, Jordan Oliver. Okay, that's one match. That was pretty good last time. Uh, no, you guys take the week off. You two are forced to take the week off. Do I have Zaya Lee versus Gigi? Oh, I don't want to do that though. I need to run in on her behalf. Oh. Okay. 
Um, what about the male? Okay, hold on here. Male tag team champions. 65, 44, 49. Uh, where is the, and 50, okay. We can do this. Okay. Now we'll put this in a tables match to get a little bonus from Slade. So hopefully that helps. We also can do, Gunther should be back, right? There he is. That's big. Uh, you guys can probably main event, actually. These, yeah, 70, 75 and 79. Undertaker lost so much popularity for having to take the week off. Absolutely devastating. And then we need to have a women's match here. And it's going to be... Uh, what... Zai's a fighter, right? So I guess we'll do a specialist of Ella Rubau for one week. She'll be upset that she got run in on, but that's okay. So this can go here of Zia Lee versus Ella Rubau with GM interference for Zia Lee. Yeah, okay. Um, all right. So now I almost don't want to do this because I'm not sure what's going <laughs> to outperform. Um, could I replace this with anything else? Oh, I can actually. I can do this tag team match of why we got Jinder Mahal, which is funnily enough. Jive Owen and Jackson Smooth. I think shout out again to Thomas for, for that suggestion of a tag team for Jinder Mahal and Giovanni Vinci. This switches over here. Undertaker has a tables match, I'm pretty sure, as one of his specialties. Good. And what about you guys? Submission. That's way too expensive. Um, we'll leave this at level... F we'll just do the normal match between these two. Title on the line. Title on the line. We'll definitely outdo these two. And then what can we book for... We have $7,000 left. Tag team callout between... Uh, will this work? That's $3,000. We have $4,000 left. A self promo from... And then honestly, I want to... I need to get something started. Train at 5000 Maybe just do self promos. Gigi Dolan. Self promo from... I'm gonna be, how, wait, hold on here. I'm gonna be $500 over, which is pretty devastating. So maybe we'll just leave it actually. So then we'll do a call out promo from GG to Cinnamon Garrett, try to get one side, then we'll leave this open again. And then this way we can buy this and just get our show. Uh, this is gonna make Sammy happy. And then actually we can even do a advertising instead. Just who can pull this off and not absolutely dummy their their popularity. Um, we are gonna try to have it be Cinnamon Garrett. Just don't kill your popularity, please. Come on, Cinnamon. Okay, so we can make this a level four rivalry for next week. Or at least try. Undertaker not losing here. Uh, and this rivalry kicking off again. Okay, so I think that's good. We've gotten our level 3. So Sami Zayn should be happy about that. Why does that... Promise Sami Zayn a show appearance. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, he's on the card. Yeah. Okay, good. So he'll be he will be happy. Triple H is happy. We're running in for Zia Lee. Everything is good for for that point of view. Okay, let's uh, let's book this show. I think I gotta start using utilizing uh, the charity events uh, or charity promo. Sorry, but uh, okay. So Tyler Bate, Montez Ford, Santos Escobar uh, in the opener main event sees Ludwig Kaiser and Cash Suplex, but I'm. I think they were the champions, but there's no titles on the line uh, in this show. Over on Raw, I didn't play a power card this week. 
Braun Strowman, our boy Mark Coffey, who's been nothing but great for us every time that we've used him, and Kit Wilson in the opener triple threat match, and main event sees Bailey putting her title on the line versus Kerry Rush. Over on ECW, the tag team double champion Sheamus putting his title on the line, uh, or putting their tag team title on the line against Damian Priest and Al C. Traz. And it is Ivar going for the, I think, the television championship in the main event. I still, still can't see, it's too small. And over on SmackDown here, let's let's get some good ratings. Undertaker versus Jordan Oliver. Oh, on Jordan Oliver one to win. Oh, and he's gonna be upset, but he got a four-star match, so that's good. That was the one thing I forgot about. Okay. Uh, hopefully, I don't... I think I've done everything. Like, he seems happy. He's always being used. So hopefully he won't be too, too upset. Uh, that's good four-star opener, though. Happy about that. This decreases to level four, which is good. Just start a rivalry for this one here. Ginger Mahal and Giovanni Vinci win. Disappointing, but it started a rivalry. Start a rivalry here, please. Okay, good. Weak pro, but I got the job done. Zia Lee versus Ella Rubau. Teddy Long making an interference. Zia Lee picks up the win. Disappointing one and a half star. That's okay. She'll be happy. Popularity down seven for three grand. Maybe I just should have left it. And Gunther versus Sami Zayn. Normal match, but title on the line. Gunther is your Intercontinental Champion after two weeks off. And four star. So we're going to get an amazing booking. Which is, uh, which is very good to see. Very good to see. Okay. Yeah, our mid cards were not up to snuff with anything else this week. But at least we got amazing booking which is i'm hoping gonna translate into something in the uh in uh, in the fan game so gunther 36 po uh, stamina which is tough sammy at 39 also but that's okay they can take the next week off and pay that off at the ple uh that's fine morale big boost for for Zia Lee, so we like to see that uh jordan oliver is popularity 51 which is good really good to see that uh, rivalry started, which again, good to see. Undertaker popularity 80 again. Uh, performance not great from this from these guys, but uh, no problem. Why is Jinder Mahal's stamina in white? How come... Did he not lose any stamina? That's kind of cool, if uh, if that is the case. Uh, El Rubao leaving next show, that's fine. Okay, overall pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, card. Uh, and pretty good results. So let's see how that translates. NXT, show quality D, match card quality C for, wow. Just under 49,000 fans. That's, that's tough. Match card quality B over on Raw for 40,000 fans. That's, that's pretty tough. Um, don't know why that is. I, I, I guess because they were using a lot of local talent. So that could be the reason why. ECW got match card quality B also for 53,000 fans. They're making a comeback. Priest and c -Traz really work well together as a tag team. It's the second week in a row that Alcatraz has found a good partner. Uh, lucky for them. Uh, we got a match card quality B first time for, in a while and for 44,500 fans. So not last in the week, which I made 79 grand, which that is the arena, the arena tier uh, three selling out right away, which was nice. Um, boring sellout promo by Cinnamon and Garrett tonight. That match with Gunter was so good. Sami Zayn is half the reason that match was great. Yep, that usually is the case in a two-person match. Uh, Zia Lee was up to her usually dirty tricks against El Rubao. Says Precious Silver. Interesting. Oh, because they're in the tag team feud? Are they actually, though? Maybe it's at level one. Gunther gets the win over Sami Zayn. Don't understand the fuss about Jordan Oliver. Overrated. Ouch. Gunther takes the belt. Wow, Sami not happy about that. Got our to the moon card for uh, resting our tag team champions, which is good. Um, but we did we gain or lose ground? Whatever. It's still far away from, from NXT black and gold. Uh, yeah, so we are we're really starting to trail. About 75,000 fans. By we we got to make up some ground here. Maybe some charity promos. One week until payback. Uh, I love... Perf okay, so this is just you being, being happy, right? No morale boost. That's so rude. Uh, it's got to stop. Yeah. Moderate decrease. So he's just annoyed. Okay. Have at least one submission match this week. Oof. That's going to cost me trips. That hurts. Um, okay. Um, wow, 
Okay. Got, still gotta do some self promos. We still gotta. Uh, we have we got the drama curve wrong in week six. We gotta do call out promos. I feel like that number is low for the amount of call out promos I actually do. Um. Okay, so I don't know. You guys, let me know. That sound that seems really low. I feel like I do a call out promo every single show. Um. Maybe tag team call it doesn't count towards that, but I still feel like, uh, oh, whatever. Okay, uh, book 10 shows with the training. Yeah, okay, we can we'll try to keep doing that. Make three superstars very happy. So at least two people are very happy with us. Is that right? Uh, Gunther being one of them, nice. And Zaya Lee being the other. Okay, stamina is still really good between Jordan Oliver and The Undertaker. Uh, Sami Zayn and Gunther need the week off. A rivalry was started here. Okay, let's see what we can do. Uh, Stamina being Higglesby. Grand Hero Monsoon. Okay, so that is good. That should be able to be on this show then with a normal match for the tag team titles. It's level four rivalry, so it should be pretty solid. Uh, women's tag team feud can go back now to being available to us everyone's stamina is pretty good precious silver is there it's a bit low but that's okay uh, that should outdo this right yes yeah yeah um undertaker and oliver could be on the show again and then uh what do we want to do we have this is not stale yet and i don't think there's a penalty at the ple so that looks like a pretty good card. So who's not on this show? There's still a lot of people. Gunther and Sami Zayn are not on this show. Uh, that's already at level four, so we almost don't need to do it. Um, and then one of these matches has to be a submission match. Oh, that we can actually do that. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous that this is going to outdo it, so I'm actually going to take this off. Both their popularities are okay. So let's clear this just to be sure. Just to be sure, we're gonna do um, Jinder versus Jive Owens, I think. That should just get us a class boost, that's fine. This will be the submission match, because then hopefully this there's a chance that this boosts this up to level three, which would be huge. Oh, Jordan Oliver doesn't wanna lose. Um, would I break the game if I played fixed match on Jordan Oliver when the Undertaker can't lose? Is that even an option? I don't want to break the game. Um, <laughs> the power card I'm going to play... Do I want to hold... Cannot be played during week 25, but it doesn't say anything about being played for week... 24 so i think i can keep that going uh jordan oliver please don't hate me he's definitely gonna get upset but i think i need to do this brian i'm so sorry for getting your creator wrestler upset <laughs> but I, it needs to be done at the moment um okay we're going to have enough money to give the special arena boost next week for the PLE. Um, uh, okay, okay, okay. And then I want to do some... I can do a charity promo from Sami Zayn. Get us some fans. We can do a training promo from Rangvald, just because. And we can do a call-out promo. I guess I can keep this going through the next string of things. Cause you always, you always wanna have, you always wanna have uh, rivalries going and not everything ending at the PLE. So I think we'll do that. As a call has a training, so that's two of the things they want me to do. Tag team matches, they're gonna do that. Do I have any un, yeah. Hopefully, oh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. If. Maybe I'll give Jordan Oliver a win of the pay-per-view if he's not upset and let that keep going with The Undertaker. We will see. Uh, but everything is good. Sami Zayn was happy there. 
I think we're good to go. This should this should be. I'm should I do? I'll do a tables match just to add a little bit. I don't think this should be 55 stamina minus for Mr. Higgleby. And if it is, I'll be very, very disappointed. But we're gonna do that tables match just to do this one a little bit. Should do it anyway, because it's level four at rivalry and level one. And this here, if this takes it to level three, that'd be a huge bonus. I think we're good to go. Gunther's getting the week off. Yeah, we're good to go. Triple H happy, good. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. We got Slade and Monsoon versus Grand, Her Grand Hero and Mr. Higglesby. Are we going to finally see new tag team champions? We are not. Slade and Monsoon are working well together in a great three and a half star match. Okay, good to know for the PLE because that's going to be at level four rivalry also. Sami Zayn with a good charity promo getting us 4,500 fans. Ivy Nile, Precious Silver, Zia Lee, Danielle Wallace. Nile and Silver retain in a two and a half star match. Okay, good stuff. Rangbald, okay, gets more ring XP, good stuff. Jinder Mahal and Jive Owens. This is just going to be, I think, maybe two star if we're, if we're lucky there. There we go. Call out Gigi Dolan. It works in a good promo, making that level two. And we want to see this become level three. Undertaker wins. We, okay, we knew that. Four star match again between Jordan Oliver and The Undertaker. And this is a level two rivalry now as well. So again, a pretty solid week. Chelsea Green, Becky Lynch keeping it going over on ECW. Uh, two local talent, three local talents in action. One of them, who, I don't know who that is. I don't know who's taking on Beth Phoenix, but that's Beth Phoenix. So ECW splashing the cash right now. Uh, and Alexa Bliss versus Charlotte Flair in the main event. A lot of women on that card for no women's titles. Bailey taking on Carrie Rush, whose popularity is 41, so it's going up a little bit. If she becomes champion, that'll help a lot. And then uh, Nakamura, Wilson, Ma Tommaso Ciampa, and Otis. I'm not sure if there's a tag match or a fatal four way. I think I gotta start sprinkling those in a bit more on my shows. Um, over on, uh, on Raw. And then NXT has Alba Fire and Bianca Belair. And then, uh, okay, four normal singles matches. And Ludwig Kaiser is calling out NXT champion Kevin Owens. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we tied ECW. That's good. And our mid our mid card matches were actually tied as well. So that's pretty good. I did not mean to skip that. I want to see what the stamina was of everybody. But uh, we're just under 50,000 fans, which is good. Um, love tonight's SmackDown. Looking forward to next week. Okay, love to see that. While Nile looks unstoppable, uh, is it just a lucky streak? Says Run and Spear. Love seeing the growing rivalry between the Undertaker and Oliver get the spotlight on SmackDown. Oliver vs. Undertaker was awesome. Their wrestling classes fit each other so well. That's getting a lot of attention. And uh, not sure the better superstar won tonight. Be seeing you again, Red Monsoon. Says Mr. Higglesby. ECW, we beat them, which is good. But it's NXT black and gold we need to catch. Everyone so far with show quality, match card quality B. Uh, Raw basically tied us. And ooh, maybe we can make up some ground here? We can make up a little bit of ground on NXT black and gold. Uh, so that's good. And we got a MyGM trophy for completing five challenges. What would have that been? That's going to be... We definitely completed the tag team chat. Well, well, we'll go check it out. Uh, so this is gonna. Ooh, okay, okay. So that is absolutely huge. Um, that's absolutely huge. We can get another legend going on here. Network special. Okay, that's absolutely huge as well. That was a, a really, really good <laughs> power card uh, batch we just got. We're seventy thousand fans behind uh, NXT Black and Gold. But, uh, or actually, 65. So we're actually, we're, yeah, we're, we're gaining a little bit here. Okay, so a lot to take in. Uh, okay. Oh, this is a lifeline right now. Oh my god, seems reasonable. Wow, that is huge. That is so, so big. He's going to be upset again about losing. But at the same time, he's... Yeah, I'm giving him the match that he wants. That's huge. Uh, you're probably aware of the fact that... What are you saying here? Um, Lee keeps hiding my gym. I don't. 
yeah you guys are already in the rivalry right wow okay so everything everything is looking good right now everything is uh, is turning up teddy long which is great um have at least one steel cage match this week okay so again expensive show um yeah we did these two right that was the two we had i'm pretty sure then the tag team matches yes and then there's someone else who's very happy, which is good. Okay, so we got the GM trophy there. We still have some work to do for the rest of the season challenges, but we're I think we're at least almost halfway there for all of them, which uh, which is very good. Okay, have a steel cage match. That's doable, Triple H. We're going to do this before we forget. So we are going to have $70,000 for this show. Um, power cards. I guess I guess now would be the time to play this to the moon card because network special I'm gonna hold that increase the, oh I, this is more this is more detailed since the update increase the fan gains from this week's show by 25% cannot be used in a PLE week okay so that did get nerfed you know what someone mentioned that down in the comments oh sorry I didn't, I didn't I didn't say who that was, but someone did mention this down in the comments that this card did get nerfed, and it absolutely did. Uh, okay, so to the moon, um, we can play this on Cinnamon Garrett to have her popularity go up uh, for continuing her feud with Gigi Dolan. This is good. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Okay, this is good. This is real good. Um, that's been added. Okay, so let's see now. Whoops, what am I doing? Let's just start adding our feuds together. There's one that'll make Jordan Oliver happy. There's one at level four. How are your stamina, boys? 45 and 48. No injury, that's good. This can be on the show. Actually, no, it can't. Okay, uh, uh, hold on, we'll see. Um, because this is level four, we gotta pay that off. And this is level four. We got to pay this off. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, well, how was your stamina after last week? After the submission match? <sighs> Took a big hit. Both of them lost slightly over 20 for just a regular rivalry bump. Okay, this is going to be the opener. So maybe I take this off. Wait, why was why was I taking this off? Uh, to give Precious Silver her match. Uh, I can't. There's nothing else I can do because all these are at level four. Quickly, GM assistant. How long do I have to give? Oh. Okay. Yikes. This is brutal. <laughs> um, okay, so I'll have to remember that Cinnamon Garrett's... Uh, the power card's been played. It's just not going to kick in just yet. So, okay, that's not the end of the world. That's not the end of the world. Don't want to forget that. Okay. I don't want this to... I don't want this to end. I want this to continue going till the next run of shows. It's devastating not having Gigi Dolan on the show because the free win. Um, so this will be a steel cage match, and we, we're only gonna have fifteen thousand. Okay. Um, call out from Gigi Dolan. That's one. Self promo from Cinnamon Garrett. I think we're gonna actually switch that around. Call out here and do the self promo because Gigi has better promo skills. So hopefully, that can help herself out more. We don't want it to go to level four. Um, we want to do a training, which we still have money for. We do, which is good. Uh, for let's just let's do it for Jive. No, let's do it for Jackson because he's gonna go up. And then I don't think we can't even do a can't even do a charity. So, uh, I guess we can do a, a tag team call-out. 
just to get literally everybody on the show, I think. I think that gets everyone on the show, which is good. Uh, these are all normal matches that I can do. I have $3,000 more, <laughs> which... Okay, we're gonna do this, because that's important. This is gonna go, oh, ooh, I'm still not gonna have enough that. Okay, so no trading this week. Um, yeah, yeah, because we definitely want this. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have, I should get amazing booking. The steel cage match, potentially this can get five stars. Uh, this being at level two now, also being a match specialty from The Undertaker, being a PLE branded bonus also uh, is good. I, I think that's pretty solid. We, we got we got this. We're going to make, we should be making, uh, what now? So seven times 7,500. Is that what it is, right? Yeah, seven times 7,500. That's almost double of what we would have, would have been getting. Show quality gets, gets a boost also. Okay, let's uh, let's go with it. I can miss out on the charity promos, which is I think starting to hurt while we're falling back. We do have the network special card though now, which will help going forward. Uh, and this homecoming card, so I want to have a good amount of money uh, after this. So we'll go ahead and book that. We'll spectate the main event there. Triple H, you're happy, right? Steel cage match, good. Confirm booking. Okay. Over on NXT, it's a triple threat match. I said I was going to do a triple threat match and or Fatal 4 and just forgot. Um, <laughs> that's tough. But the women's titles on the on the line in the opener and the tag team championships are on the line in the main event. Kevin Owens can be a double champion. Over on Raw, it is Kerry Rush versus Bailey. Kerry Rush uh, oh, could be injured here. But uh, 47 popularity is good. Tommaso Ciampa, the uh, champion now of, of uh, Raw, putting his side on the line against Dijak in the main event. Over on ECW, Becky Lynch and Chelsea Green. That's probably going to pay off their rivalry there. Uh, I think that's a fatal four-way. They have a triple threat match. So good. To Carolina Reaper. There we go. Uh, maybe we'll look to get a trade for her, actually, as well. Uh, get the Spice Girls going. Uh, yeah, a lot of women on the show there for ECW, which is uh, good. There is no women's title, but uh, good for them showcasing the women. And over on SmackDown, here we go. We're going to go ahead and please get me a five-star ma rated match. I would just love it. Sami Zayn retains his title, or regains his title, sorry, in a five-star rated match. I'd love to see that. Gigi Dillon, good, popular, or good uh, promo to popularity. Okay, I'd like to see that. Rangbell versus Orikawa. Orikawa wins. Okay. Good three-star match. Good stuff. <sighs> Embarrassing promo from Cinnamon and Carrot. Ivy Nile, Precious Silver put their titles on the line. They retain in a good three-star match. That's now level two. So good to know that that's getting me three-star uh, rated matches. Um, that's good. I like that. Slade and Monsoon versus Grand Hero, Mr. Higglesby. No, no go for Grand Hero, Mr. Higglesby. It's still level uh, three star match. So pretty solid, solid mid card so far. An excellent promo from Vinci and Mahal. <laughs> and then, oh, sorry, people who want to spec spectate the matches. I completely forgot that this is basically a fixed match, and we can't. Um, sorry about that. I'm gonna make a note to make sure to spectate next match. Our next episode. Okay, but Undertaker versus Oliver. Title on the line. We know Undertaker's going to win. He does. Classic four and a half star rated match. And that rivalry grows to level three. So that is good. Okay. The only five star rated match. Actually, no one else even did four and a half. Star. We're the only one to get amazing booking. No, ECW got it with the four and four. But good stuff here. Why was this so good? We want to see this. Tag team chemistry is really good. I like that. And they're old. Whoa, they can even, they can even go to start next episode, which is good. Okay, good there. Orikawa and Rangvold, that is complete. We can maybe even... Maybe we'll look to move one of those two for some cash. Yep. Stamina not good here between these two. Um... Okay, 
Uh, but we we got the five star five star match though. So we're looking for Dave Meltzer is happy. And over here, oh wow, performance really good. Match specialty. Where's the where's the PLE bonus? Where that hasn't always been there, has it? Has the hometown stuff always? Has that been there this whole time, and I've just missed it because that is really cool. Uh, I like that a lot. I just where is? I don't know. I, I, we're supposed to have a PLE bonus from that match, but uh, whatever. It got four and a half stars, so I'm happy with that. No injuries and multiple, multiple feuds at level two rivalry, which is good. Too bad you can't have a three-way, uh, three-way tag match. But that's okay. Maybe next year, 2K. NXT show quality D match card quality B for 106,000 fans. Pretty good from them. Same thing from Raw for 97,000 fans. I'm hoping to get a pretty good, a pretty good fan boost from this. Um, I would, I would love, I'd love that. Uh, ECW show quality D match card quality B for 108,000 fans and 56,000. We did the same thing, okay? Match card quality B for 138,000. Let's go. Um, we made $56,000, which is good. Uh, man, what an end to the rivalry between Slade and Monsoon and Gran, Her and Gran Hero and Higglesby. Red Monsoon, definitely the king of the ring. Okay, fantastic show from SmackDown. Thank you. SmackDown, you need to give Gunther a break once in a while. You're going to force an early retirement. The guy had a two-week break. It's not my fault. He's just in the, the, the demanding matches because he's the man. Gigi Dolan doing good work on the mic tonight. Keep the audience entertained. Gigi Dolan nearly gave the crowd... Uh, Gigi Dolan nearly gave the crowd heat stroke, blowing all that hot air. Ha ha ha. Cinnamon Garrett. Zayn settles the score with Gunther. Cinnamon Garrett embarrassing herself and had a good match and a close win against Jordan Oliver. Not letting up though. Gotta keep moving, says The Undertaker. Okay. So we are gonna gain some ground here, which is very, very good. I, uh, I know a guy three probably won't be using that as a power card. Uh, it says we are in the lead, which I guess, sure. Um, don't understand how the other shows haven't picked up a GM trophy yet if I already have one. But maybe their season goals are actually just harder. Because I, I, did, I did mention in last episode that the ones I have are pretty easy. Like, as you can see, we already have one GM trophy. But when it comes to fans, we actually closed the gap to 34. 3,000 fans. So that was a huge, huge PLE for SmackDown. So we'll see if OBS crashes because it for some reason hates the trade screen. So we'll see. I wanted to see if uh, Ludwig Kaiser is on Raw. I, ooh, Sheamus. That's super tough. ECW double champion injured for four weeks. Wow. Uh, Carolina Reaper is signed permanently from ECW. So, and that trade value is kind of low. I'm not gonna lie. Do we want to try to get our next next trade streak, if you will? Um, or I can trade Monsoon and Higglesby, actually. Um, hold on here. Because if I trade Monsoon, the tag team titles become free. And I put it in the the other tag rival we, we, we have going on right now. Or. If I. So have, I have one. Two. Three current rivalries. That are, le that are level two or higher. Four including Vinci and... Uh, and gender and then another one cinnamon garrett so do i want to trade away monsoon and free up those tag titles to put it in uh we'll see i think i okay hold on on raw they had where was clay Biss? only 10 weeks remaining has a hundred stamina though like that um, and I'm pretty sure, oh, his promo, his promo skill was five last time also, now it's just one. 
Um, I want Clay Biss back. And 10 weeks remaining, what does that mean? That, because of week 20, so he won't be that much to sign fully. So Clay Biss over on Raw. Or actually, this is where we can get our money back for our homecoming, actually. Okay, Clay Biss for Rich Orikawa just settled up. So... Okay, who has... Uh, do you have Ludwig Kaiser? No. Okay, so Orikawa for Clay Biss. And you can give me 30 grand also. Or do I also want to include someone who's just ended a, a feud? Um, like Mr. Higglesby also. So then you give me... Sixty thousand. Let's just see that all uh, low stamina too, which would help. Let's propose this trade get Clay Biss back. Said yes. Like that. That's good. Cool, actually. Okay, good, 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 good. That's a good start. Uh, we have. We still have nineteen people on the roster, which is great. Uh, where was Ludwig Kaiser? A hundred? Oh, his stamina is so low. <sighs> He's in two feuds, though, that are level three and level four, so that would hurt them getting rid of him. Um, I, th I gotta pass on him again, and I'm just gonna try to gain some extra money here by tr I liked I liked Ryan Vald a lot, but he's he can get me a hundred grand right now. He signed for thirty-seven. That'd be, tri he'd be tripling his amount. Trade that to NXT and try to hinder them for their money. Also, uh, they have one hundred fifty-seven thousand. Who here is worth fifty fifty thousand? Anybody? Anybody? Not Grand Harrow. We're keeping him. Uh, no is the answer. Um, okay, so we'll try to get Rangvold for a hundred grand from NXT. They'll probably, you know, make me take it down for the 500 bucks. No, they just say yes. Yeah. So we got a hundred grand for, for Rangvold, which is good. I really enjoyed him. Uh, honestly, I, that's, that's someone who, if I can get, I, if I would have had Ivar or Eric, maybe I would have kept, but, uh, that is good. That's a lot of money that we now have. Is there anybody else? And we still have 18. Is there a heal we can look into trading? Uh, normally, I'd probably want to move someone who has 20 stamina and can get me 200 grand. But at the same time, we love Gunther on this channel. Um, so do we want to... Maybe I just trade the tag team champions. Get another hundred grand. That we, we can even search for someone who is a, who is legendary, um, uh, legendary ring XP, and then sign immediately with the homecoming card. So Slade and Monsoon don't have anything. Oh, Grand Grand Hero and Gunther can start something up. Okay, okay, okay. That could work. And then I just put the tag team titles now in the feud with Jackson Smooth and Jive Owens and Gio Vinci, uh, Giovanni Vinci and Ginger Mahal. Ginger Mahal is now in Imperium, I guess. Uh, if you don't like that, I'm sorry. Don't hate me for it. And I also did enjoy Slade too, though. Um, okay, NXT can't give us this amount of money. ECW can. Um, and I, I don't think I'm missing anything from the women's side of things. Ivy Nile and Precious Silver are working well together, which is good. They're in a rivalry with Danielle and uh, Zia Lee. Cinnamon Garrett is there, so we're okay on the women's side. Um, so... Okay, I think that's okay. So try to get me 100,000 out of... 
And I guess actually a, uh, a heal gen there's Ivar. I trade for Ivar to feud with Sami Zayn. Um, no, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is... That is such a such a tough injury for ECW. Um, maybe do we want Carolina Reaper just in and around the area just in case for the Spice Girls. Um, maybe we can do Carolina Reaper and seventy thousand for these two. Let's check that out. And they say yes. OBS oh, waited for our last trade to go through before crashing, but uh, Mick Foley did say yes for Carolina Reaper and 70 grand. So that's big. We now have over $350,000. We have ongoing rivalries. This is good. I'm going to end trading there. No, no, um, no offers from the from the other brands. Okay, so Precious Silver, this should just be you saying thank you. Uh, against her. Uh, I agree, great match by the way. You should just be happy, yeah, good. Uh, okay, you're just saying, I listen to my star and spend my cash wisely. Thanks, Sonia. Uh, back in Atlanta, I, okay. Well, I definitely need to try to take note of this. Put me on the show for my crowd, okay. And <laughs> Gunther again. All right. Uh, I'm not feeling 100%. Is okay if I take two weeks off? Sure. Get some rest, Gunther. All right. So that, again, if this works as it did at the end of last PLE, he is just going to stay at 69 popularity while gaining 24 stamina, which that works for me. Then just have Grand Harrow call him out over and over again. Okay. So now see the shakeup cards. Jumpstart. Superstars below ring level 10 gain 15 in ring XP. Um, if I'm not mistaken, in the Future Stars challenge, that was ring uh, superstars below ring level 10 XP gained 40 XP, and that was the crazy, uh, the the crazy, um, the uh, change to the Future Stars challenge. I'm kind of rattled by this here. Deep discounts. All match types are free for one show. Okay. Um, no. This uh, this has to be it. Jumpstart has to be it. I'm happy that it's not as crazy as it once <laughs> as it once was uh, before the uh, before the uh, the game update patch. But 15 is still helpful, and that should gain at least a couple levels for people like Jive and Jackson Smooth. So we'll go with Jumpstart for the shakeup. Well, wow, that's actually helping a lot more than I thought. Good, good, happy with that. Okay, so that is where we're going to leave this episode. We are technically in first place, but we know we want to win not just the GM trophies, but also the overall fans. We made great strides in this episode, closing the gap to just over 30,000 from what was at one point like 80,000. So that was a huge, huge PLE. And we got that homecoming card. I have to make a lot of notes for... Uh, <laughs> for the start of next episode so I don't uh, so I don't make some mistakes where easy uh, easy goals are are there to be made so if you've watched this far again guys I thank you so much if you can please leave a like on this video and uh, subscribe to the channel again a big thank you to everyone who has made this uh, channel grow to 2,000 subscribers again what a what a big number for me I mean some people that might not uh, that might not be anything special, but for me, guys, that, that makes, makes makes my day. So thank you again so much. Today was the bonus episode on Sunday, and uh, we'll be back to our normal schedule for the next, uh, next upcoming week with our next episode dropping Monday morning at 9. So there's all the info. Thank you again, guys, for, uh, for, for helping this channel grow. And as always, thanks for watching.